Good evening, everyone. I'm Brian Allen. First up this evening, we catch up with Jolene Letcher. Just more than a year ago, Letcher survived Sioux Falls mayoral primary election to compete in a runoff with now Mayor Paul Tenhaken. Letcher is now engaged in a new political endeavor as part of a nationwide program that gives her access to some of the nation's top leaders. Jolie Letcher made an impressive showing in last year's Sioux Falls mayoral election, surviving the primary process and making it to a runoff election with Paul Tenhaken. Since that election, Letcher has seemingly kept a low profile, but behind the scenes she was taking action to further understand her own beliefs and how to take action on those beliefs. It's called the Presidential Leadership Scholars Program and it is an opportunity through a bipartisan lens to view leadership with 60 of the nation's game changers by working through the administrations and the presidencies of President H.W. Bush, uh, President G.W. Bush, and then of course President Clinton and LBJ. Letcher went through an application and screening process for the program and then was approved to take part. She and 59 other people from all across the nation are in this year's program. This is for people that are already making change in their community and that, um, that they believe have the power to significantly grow that change by developing a network of people around them, but also learning from the presidencies and the leadership decisions that they had to do. So it's about continuing the work that you're already doing, putting that into action, and growing it. Already, Letcher has met with advisors and family members of former president, the late George H.W. Bush. Last month, she had the opportunity to discuss political theory and political activism with former Secretary of State Madeleine Albright and former President Bill Clinton. It's indescribable to be in a room with only 59 other people, well, and the Secret Service, and to have a former President of the United States walk in there and know that you can ask them anything. And that's what's so crucial about this program is that I can't tell you what we talked about or what we asked them because they want us to truly learn and to grow. And so it is an off the record, no holds barred, ask the questions so that you grow um, because these presidents and their families and the libraries truly believe in this next generation of leadership. And already from this program, Letcher says her fundamental beliefs about politics have been confirmed. What matters in politics is the people more than anything else. At this point in time, it feels like more people are paying attention to politics because of the polarizing nature of it. But Jolene Letcher tells us by being a part of this presidential scholar program, she feels hopeful that that may change. We're at such an unparalleled, un unknown time um, in this country. And that's what I think makes a program and an opportunity like this even more crucial. I can't tell you what the majority of the people in my scholar class are registered as, and we have had incredible conversations and framed those conversations um, with, with leadership perspectives from past secretaries of state, um, secretaries of labor, about immigration, about the changes that are facing this nation, and what does that mean for us if we're going to help take this really in a lot of ways volatile time and make it impactful and change it into a, a positive progress going forward. So knowing Letcher's activism in Sioux Falls and South Dakota, much of it focusing on keeping children safe from physical and sexual abuse, will we see her name on a ballot again in the future? I asked her and here's what she told me. I, I don't know. Um, I have always been called to serve. It is to me one of the foundations of my faith is that um, you know, you give. You give back when you are called to do so and um, that you serve and you don't always know what that looks like. Jolene Letcher will officially graduate from this program at the end of next month with the expectation that she will take what she has learned and use it right here at home.